Joining us now here on set is Congressman Adam Schiff. He's the chair of the House Intelligence Committee, and he's been leading the impeachment investigation. Sir, thanks very much for joining us. I imagine you haven't slept in a few weeks. <laughs> that is true. It's good to have you here. Thank you. Great to be with you. Um, let me ask you just a few nuts and bolts questions about the process, the part of the process that we're moving into now. From public reporting, what we understand is that um, your committee, under your leadership, has basically finished at least the initial uh, iteration of the report on your investigation's findings. Is that true? Uh, it is true, uh, um, or almost. <laughs> We're putting the finishing touches uh, on the report, which will be released publicly tomorrow. Okay. Uh, tomorrow night we'll also have a vote to formally transmit the committee report to judiciary. Um, at the same time, that's not the end of our investigation. Uh, so even while judiciary does its work, uh, we will continue investigating. We're continuing to issue subpoenas. We're continuing to learn new information. Uh, that work goes on. But um, we also feel a sense of urgency. This is a president who has sought for intervention in U.S. elections twice now. Uh, and even in the midst of our impeachment inquiry is again out publicly saying not only should Ukraine do this, but China should also investigate my opponent. Uh, and so this is a threat to the integrity of the upcoming election. And we don't feel it should wait, uh, in particular, when we already have overwhelming evidence of the president's misconduct. The, uh, you say that the report will be released publicly tomorrow. Are there steps that you need to go through in terms of members reviewing it before the public can see it? Um, uh, it uh, the, the presumably members need enough time to read it before the vote. Is it a long document? It's a long document. Uh, members started reading it today. Okay. Uh, they'll be reading it uh, throughout the day tomorrow. Uh, and essentially, um, it outlines in considerable detail a scheme that began uh, actually well before the recall of Ambassador Yovanovitch uh, and was designed to further two political objectives of the president, which is an investigation into Joe Biden and an investigation into this debunked conspiracy theory that it was Ukraine that interfered in the last election, not Russia. But notwithstanding all of our intelligence agencies concluding it was Russia, notwithstanding the fact that it's actually Putin's narrative that Ukraine did it, not us. Um, but nonetheless, the president believed, obviously, this would help his reelection campaign, and he was willing to use the full force of his office uh, to leverage Ukraine to do these sham investigations. Now, the, the process here is that when this report is concluded, when your committee takes a vote, that vote will be to convey it to the Judiciary Committee. Right. The Judiciary Committee would then, if they so choose, um, use that as the basis for drawing up articles of impeachment. Now, if that's going to be the way that this goes, and we'll have to see how the Judiciary Committee decides to handle its own part of this process, it's, a, it's hard to figure out how that process interacts with the fact that you said you're expecting still more information to come in, still subpoenaing witnesses and documents. You're still essentially fleshing out the narrative. But articles can start to come together before that investigation is complete? Yes. Uh, you know, what I expect will happen is we'll transmit our report uh, tomorrow night. On Wednesday, the Judiciary Committee is going to begin work with a hearing of constitutional experts on just what high crimes and misdemeanors and treason and bribery just what those standards mean, what the founders had in mind, um, what the relevance is in terms of the president's conduct here. Um, they will also be looking at the Mueller report, which has obviously already been provided to them. They may get reports or information from other committees about other presidential misconduct that they should also consider. Mm. Uh, and then the Judiciary Committee, in, in consultation with the full membership and our leadership, will have to make a decision, should we seek articles of impeachment or what should they look like? But while that process is going on, we don't intend to be static. Uh, if we learn new information that will uh, build on what we know already, we will file a supplemental report with the Judiciary Committee. Um, but the, the fact of the matter is, and, and this is something I discussed with the caucus when we began this investigation, you get to a point in an investigation where you can tell it is going to be a long time before you get the next valuable increment of information. Hmm. And you're at a decision point. Do we have enough information to make a decision or do we not? And here there's really no contesting the facts. Uh, there's no contesting what all these witnesses have said, which is the president conditioned two important official acts of his office, meeting in the Oval Office with the president of Ukraine, something they desperately sought, uh, and $400 million of taxpayer-funded military assistance to help Ukraine fight the Russians. He was willing to sacrifice not only Ukraine's security, 
but our own national security, our own fight against Russian aggression uh, in the service of his political aspirations.